Okay, what is going on, you everyone, <laughs> or you guys, or everyone? Um, I'm shooting this in a weird place because it's getting hot, and I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, when I shoot a video of my phone outside in the sun, it heats up and then it shuts down the camera. So I've got three batteries here, and I've got a Rambler 20 over there that doesn't have a seat on it. And what we're going to talk about is battery options, right? For range maximization. So we're going to start out with the battery that comes in the Rambler 20. This is uh, by Scud. Um, they do all the packs, all the lithium ion packs, they do for Razor. So this is in like the, the S1s, the Ramblers, the Eco Smarts, the, um, what's the other one? I'm drawing a blank. Um, oh, the C45. The C45. Um, so, Scud, Scud does the batteries for them, right? And for this bike, as you can see, right, the capacity there, 7.5 amp hours. So, basically, it's a 7.8, uh, but I think they are using 2,800 amp hour cells. Uh, milliamp hour cells and this is what gives you this rating right here and that's relatively small so you're only going to really get max range and performance when you're using the low speeds on this basically okay um you'll get good punch at the beginning if you have it wicked up in terms of the speed mode but you see that right there that's not all that great now let me show you the two um, upgrade packs that we develop for uh, Razor products. First is, this is a 10 amp hour. So let's go to and look at the, right, so 9.6, but nominal, uh, I'm sorry, full capacity is 10. And then typical, once you once it powers down off of a full charge, it's going to average out to 9.6 amp hours. See, so that's a full 2 amp hours over this battery. And look at the size difference. Right, these are using 3600 milliamp hour cells. So the cells individually in this battery have a bigger capacity than this one, but they have the same arrangement, right? So that's why they're very similar in size, uh, only that this has a higher output because the cells are 3600 milliamp hour cells. These are 28, I believe, okay? Third option, long range. This one, this is the big boy, okay? So we're looking at 10S4P, 20 amp hour, all right, 36 volt, 5,000 milliamp hour per cell, okay? And, oh, I'm sorry, not 36, 32, sorry. 32 versus 28 on this one, 32 on this one, 5,000 on this one. These are 21,700 size cells. These are not the 18,650s that are in this one and this one. Okay, so this, right, this pack just has way more okay it's just bigger punch longer range uh, like like higher speed over a longer distance like just everything everything with this battery right here and i will show you how they drop right in so we can start with this one and when i sell these bikes i sell them with this pack okay so i sell i sell the rambler 20 with an upgraded pack all right drops right in i have a uh um, there's a pad that sticks down to the bottom, right? Mounts the battery right in there. All right, there's a adapter plug for the charger. XT60 plugs right in. This powers right up. Okay. This other one needs a little bit of modification. Ugh. So I've done. I've sized this one. It sits in there, right? However, you have to recess it in further. So this is kind of what I was doing today. I was really just doing some seismic testing, especially on this one, because what has to happen here, and this will be noted in the kit 
when I put these together, and these will all be on the website here in the next coming weeks here. See these fins right here? These, these very hard plastic fins. These are gonna have to get shaved down. These are gonna have to get cut out of here in order to fit that battery. The battery has to recess either flush to or below this point in order for the seat hooks to mount right here where they bolt into the back, okay? So there is a little bit of a caveat for that battery you just saw there, okay? There's gonna, it's gonna require some modification in here. So that will be noted in that kit. However, that is the biggest pack that you can throw in here. And my estimations on that battery at the highest speed, about 45 miles range at the highest speed. So that battery will, will literally get you some, um, some 45 miles distance at the highest speed, which is about gonna be about 23, 24 miles an hour. Cause that battery just has more crank. So it's gonna go faster. So that's my estimations on that battery, full crank, approximately 40 miles at the top speed. So that is the Rambler 20 kind of broken down in a nutshell. And there's a few other things I'm going to do aesthetically. Now that stuff I'm not going to talk about. <laughs> I got I to gotta have some sort of mystery to this, but just to show you, um, once again, these are the packs that were made and designed specifically for Razor. And so now they are applicable in a multitude of vehicles. So, like I said, in the coming week, I will have more information about drop-in kits, lithium-ion drop-in kits. It's real simple. It's literally like a five-minute drop-in, making it easy for you guys. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative. Any questions, just post them in the comment section. Peace.